switches for base roll off, which Emmett just mentioned. Um, what else? What else? What else would be on That's there? That's pretty much I'm trying it, I to think. think. There's yeah. there's also on on a few mics like the uh, Shure SM7. There's a little a little presence boost switch. So you have a few that have a little more contour to them. The uh, RE27 ND has a few of those uh, contour contour switches. Um, I can't think of any condensers. Transistor for them, you know, having a radio station is very important. Well, we're not with that. If you get to a minute on Facebook, you are a god. Because the first question we ask is who wrote this book? And the answer for this the elect, the chosen. And this is not some isolated. Uh, make it as effective as we can because we have such a short period of time. I call it a freeze-dried education. You know, there's these sort of compact. You'll understand everything after episode one, but um, it's been really great. It's been really fun. So if you want to reach us, you can reach us at audio at nowcastnetwork.com or you can leave a... UFOs and things of that sort at night. It drove them crazy. About what year was this? Uh, this would have been probably the mid to, uh, let's see. By the time we were... And he's facing imminent death. So that's the darkness outside. Necessary. I already have a dog. Oh! Unnecessary. I already have a dog. You see? No, but this dog doesn't poop. You have a world panel is you get you have inputs to your audio console and outputs from your console, uh, or whatever you want. Typically, it's your console in a control room. And the idea is that it gives you isolated inputs. And outputs. Basically, a an IP table script and it's ultimately calling or causing a uh, CPU stuck thread or one of the by man that will ever be able to fill in the great hollowness in our hearts, which is a hollowness that reveals the absence of an experience of the living God. References the Fast Light Development Toolkit. So where did you come across that and why did you choose it? Well, actually, I, I was a participant with some of the early FLT. And some preamps have a lot of color, a lot of character to them. Some are ultra, ultra, ultra transparent, and, and there's a whole wide range in between. And it's it's a matter of, of largely just finding what you like. Um, even the cheapest preamps now are pretty good. If you go in and buy a, a $100 interface, a $100 Steinberg interface, the preamps in that are not bad. Yeah, um, no, not bad uh, at all. Actually, I recommend the Steinberg a lot. I th I think it to me the preamps are better than the Focusrite, for instance, uh, in this comparably priced model. Um, so, I, yeah, I agree. Uh, you can get really nice preamps that'll work just fine on voice alone for sure. Uh, it used to be back a couple decades ago, maybe the '90s or so. There was a wide difference between professional grade preamps and uh, low-end kind of plug-and-play preamps, and Mackie sort of changed the game on that because they yeah. were able to come up with a, a really solid-sounding preamp uh, for a fraction of the cost of higher-end boutique preamps, and everyone has followed suit since then, and that technology has only gotten better and cheaper. I do still think there's reason to spend more on a preamp if you're at that level in your career and, and that level with your gear. There are still things you can get out of out of higher end boutique preamps, but the differences are a lot more subtle than they used to be. And it's a lot less of a necessity mm. because it used to be about noise. And at this point, pretty much they're, they're all pretty quiet. Right. So if you were to, if you had a setup with, and let's, I keep bringing it up, but let's say you've got an NT1 and you've got a 2i2 as your preamp slash interface, would that be a significant jump up if you were to upgrade your mic and not upgrade the preamp or do you have to do them concurrently 
Well, one of the things that you have to be aware of is, you know, are you getting enough gain mm. from your preamp without having to turn that all the way up? Because, you know, as Emmett said, the preamp is designed to boost the low, that extremely low signal coming from the mic. So, you know, you 